Dave Smith here. So in the last video we had a look at the uh, making of the book Skiographic Portraits uh, and in this video uh, I want to talk about this monster here. So the Skiographic Portraits were printed, um, was made sorry using um, a sort of a, a medieval stitch uh, and tape kind of approach. This one has been bound with a Japanese stab binding uh, approach. Now I have hinged the cover on this but not the back because this is quite a large book as you can see. Uh, it's a book of panoramas. Not a surprise there I'm sure. This was much much simpler to make because uh, with a stab binding there are no signatures so you can really just print one at a time. Uh, maybe through Photoshop, for example, which which is which isn't how I did it. I did it, I still laid it out in InDesign. Um, but let's uh, let's start here with the. Uh, I've used the same um, covering technique as I did with the uh, portraiture book. So it's just standard fabric, uh, stiffener ironed onto it, and then used that as the book cloth. It's not disastrous, it's a problem down here at the edges. You can see some of the glue has leaked through, for example, uh, and made it look a little bit messy, but it's not disastrous, I don't think. Um, uh, but that, that's, in any case, what I've got. Uh, I will do that differently when I next make a book. But let's talk about the paper. This is another Marat paper, and uh, they call it pan panoramic paper. It's, uh, I think it's 230 grams only comes single-sided um, and it is essentially two A4 sheets of paper in, and not side by side to make an A3 but end to end to make this panoramic thing. So it is the same surface area as, a, uh, as an A3 sheet but it's end to end so it's much uh, much wider uh, and so you get this um, panoramic uh, approach and as I say I've done this uh, Japanese stab binding uh, I've only hinged the front cover let's uh, open that up so there's the hinged front uh, got a nice little end page there title page uh, and again I will uh, bring the camera close so you can see this got an introduction little copyright uh, statement there and uh, there are some of the images all in black and white because uh, I prefer black and white uh, this was much much easier to make uh, because it doesn't use uh, signatures much easier to bind because the Japanese stab binding is quite swift uh, than this uh, signatures book um, and I have some other ideas for books so I'm, I'm, I am going to make uh, another um, much more complex uh, set of books but that will be later in the year okay so this video much shorter than the last because really there isn't that much to say about the making of this book it's really just a bunch of prints that are bound together the binding is quick and easy um, making the cases was e easy uh, I think I mentioned that I didn't hinge the back because this is such a big book, it seemed to me that a rigid back would be uh, much more sensible than hinging the back and just sort of losing a, a, a level of rigidity about the book. Okay, so let's get the camera in and look at the uh, images and the, uh, and the setup of this book and you can, see, uh, you can see what I've been doing. I hope this is some, uh, some interest. Hi there. Okay, so here we are. This is a close-up look at the um, uh, at the book of panoramas. This is the stab binding here, and if I turn this, uh, I don't know how well focused that will be. But you can perhaps see the stab binding there. It goes around the head and tail at each side, and you can just pick out the hinge here. And again, we've got these marks uh, because of the glue seeping through, which is a bit irritating, but there we go. Live and learn. And uh, this is hinged to the front, just here. 
Uh, I did leave a slightly bigger uh, gap with this hinge, so this should open quite nicely. There we go, and it does. And we've got a title page here, got a bit of an introduction. Uh, and let's just have a look at some of the images. So this is uh, Hershaw Lynn. I've uh, put some videos up about the shootout at Hershaw Lynn. This is possibly one of my favourite uh, images. Uh, this is the Yalu River and we're looking from China across to North Korea. Uh, this is Dandong uh, just in the foreground here and the uh, border between uh, China and North Korea runs down the center of that river um, and I, I love this image uh, quite quite interested by this image this was taken at um, Black Hole Rocks which is uh, a beach near me the bright light you see up in the right hand side there is actually the moon uh, this was shot uh, under a full moon uh, at night about 10 o'clock at night you can see there's a bright light on the horizon, that's a ship. So this is a long exposure, uh, it's a clear night, so uh, very contrasty down here. You see the sharpness of the shadows uh, because there's no diffusion from clouds. This rather um, dramatic image is shot in infrared, uh, I believe. And this is Auckland Castle, which is the seat of the Prince Bishops. Uh, the Prince Bishops moved here in, uh, I want to say, the 19th century, although the Prince Bishops were, uh, were around since the 12th century. Uh, but I could be wrong about that. This is an image made in Iceland. This is just an Iceland pony. Uh, this is Norway, Ramsburg. Uh, this is northern Sweden. That's uh, Bellingham waterfall in Northumbria. Also north Sweden. Norway. This is um, uh, Blackstone's Edge on Marsden Moor in Yorkshire. Uh, this is another shot uh, this is uh, again looking uh, across the Yalu River, across to North Korea, uh, from the uh, Great Wall. So I went up and along the Great Wall, up to this um, high point here, and made this panorama across the Yalu River. And then just to sort of break up the, the sort of way that the images are laid out, I have uh, have used this approach on this spread here smaller image against a larger image um, and then we have this and this is another one from the Great Wall looking across the North Korea <coughs> uh, some more infrared images of uh, Auckland Castle uh, again a slightly different um, sort of layout uh, this is another one at uh, Blackstone's Edge in Marsden Moor, showing the uh, glacial moraine in here, uh, shot in infrared. Uh, this is at Narvik in uh, northern Norway. Uh, this is uh, a shot from the Buddhist temple at New Shaoshan in uh, China. This was a spectacular place. This is also shot in infrared. And then a trio of uh, images shot in the Vasa um, archipelago between northern Sweden and uh, north Finland. This is again uh, the Yalu River. This is the Friendship Bridge just here. Uh, this is the Broken Bridge. The Broken Bridge ends there and it's uh, quite an interesting spot because um, it's broken because the Americans bombed it in the Korean War in the 1950s. And when you go along the Broken Bridge, um, the Chinese have left the end of it all mangled and torn and wrecked from the bombing. But I'm quite interested in the fact that there's none of that bridge left from 
halfway across the Yalu River. So the, the Americans kind of precision bombed that bridge from the Chinese-Korean border out towards Korea, but left intact the half of the bridge that was on the Chinese side. Then this friendship bridge was, was uh, this bridge rebuilt uh, after that war. And there's about, uh, about 100 metres between those two bridges. And you can go along this bridge and you can see the wreckage at the end and the stanchions uh, are still uh, intact, um, sort of looking out. And this is all North Korea here. This is Dandong. This is uh, Low Force in Middleton in Teesdale. Uh, that's that uh, Vasa Peninsula again, shot in infrared. So you get this very uh, high contrast uh, image. Uh, two, sh two views of the Friendship Bridge uh, there. Uh, this is a series of um, drops uh, in the Hairshaw Burn on the way up or down from Hairshaw Lynn, depending on which way you're going, I guess. Here are some more images of the beach uh, out at Black Hall Rocks, shot under uh, a full moon. Uh, the, oh, I think I've missed one. I do not want to do that. Uh, here's three, uh, three views of um, uh, just three separate waterfalls. This is High Force. This is Thornton Force. And this is... This is uh, Ruftin Lynn. So these two are Northumbria and this is Yorkshire. Uh, these are sheds. Uh, this is North Sweden and this, these sheds were exactly opposite the house where I used to live. Uh, this was shot on 5x4. And there's the end page. So that's the book of panoramas that I made. Japanese stab bound. Uh, pretty pleased. Uh, I, I wish that this had come out a little bit neater, um, but all in all, both books, really very pleased. So I hope that's all been of some interest. Uh, I'd love to hear what you think of them, um, whether you've made books, uh, whether you might give it a try, uh, let me know. Bye for now.